Alright, greetings. I know I'm going to regret this later, but I decided, you know, not every game works exactly by just watching gameplay footage without commentary. And if you desire that, I will be posting the last of my uh, original Marine playthrough that I have completed already. The video quality may not be as great as this one, but hey, at least I'm offering options. Um, so I figured there are some games where it doesn't quite work just watching the gameplay footage because it's kind of dull and boring. So I figured, okay, I guess the next best scenario would be to at least commentate over those. That way I don't have to write 50 paragraphs explaining my every action. So that's what I'm going to be doing with this uh, playthrough here. Um, you might have noticed that <laughs> um, other than the test run I did just to test the audio, that doesn't seem right because I posted a video on this game about a year ago. So I guess 25 months is technically uh, technically under a year. No, wait a minute. 12 months a year. Duh. Okay. So I don't know why it's saying that it's been over two years because that's not true. Uh, I played this game and although I've recently played it with someone else, uh, I'm pretty at least proficient at least with the original game and this. So that's where I'm coming from in this playthrough. Uh, I am going to start a new character because apparently they did change around some of the outfits and loadouts from the beginning. So we're going to do that in just a second. I'm just going to pause the recording right here and pick up where I last left off to make sure the audio is just as good. All right. All right. That should be a little bit better balance. Um, you'll have to let me know if the audio is a little too soft on, my, on your end. Um, I turned down the in-game volume a little bit, although there's not much of a soundtrack, so I don't want to dampen it too much. But during gun battles and stuff, it will get a little loud, so I just want to make sure that it's properly balanced. Anyway, we're going to skip the tutorial, although there's a gunnery character there we can get. Um, no worries. I think I'm going to stick with my scout character that I was doing since I already have no a completed problem. marine. Yeah, let me say it again. Uh, I already have a completed marine run, so I figured I'm going to get at least one, try to get one playthrough completed of each character. I know it's no a bit of a worries. long shot. Um, I'm going to start with easy because just... You know, I'm, I'm, I'll am i admit when I when I have a breaking point with the game, and I can tolerate this game up to this point. Um, one thing I noticed that's new is that both the Scout Don't and the Meta you. class both start with a Boomstick, which I guess balance out their uh, weak starting kits. Although the Medic doesn't have a pistol, but she actually makes up for it well with the other stuff. Although, in, without multiplayer, this Transfuser is kind of worthless. Um, Excellent. Oh, even the engineer has a boomstick. Wow, everyone gets a, everyone gets a boomstick. No problem. <laughs> wow, everyone really does get a boomstick. Okay, I guess that's just to make sure that you have ammo Excellent. for everyone. All right, okay, that makes sense. Okay, um, so yeah, no I'm gonna worries. stick with the scout. All right, good to know. So we're just gonna start on easy, just to like, you know, it's been a while. Even though I did a, a co-op run, we almost got to the bottom, although the player count kind of screwed us over <clears throat> but just to get you kind of ease back into the game all right so the first thing you always do take off your armor although now that i know that this game only goes to floor 20 i don't think that strategy is always viable or necessary because the main problem was when you go to like floor 30 or 40 all your equipment will be shredded by that point so that's kind of why you did it at the beginning i don't find it that required anymore but hey I can at least save it for a couple, maybe eight or five, or eight or ten floors. All right, perfect. All right, I am gonna use my knife here to kind of like get skill points. Um, I went already over this in the Marine playthrough, but I guess I'll just kind of refresh your memory if you haven't watched that. Um, this game, the skills kind of work similar to the Elder Scrolls where if you use it at least once, it will cost only one point when you level it up. And also when you use skill points, it also naturally increases up to the point of level 50, I believe. It could be different in this play in this game, but that's what it was in the original. Oops. So I'm gonna uh, save as much, uh, what do you call it? Of my equipment as possible. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um, I noticed this with the medic, although I thought that was like a, uh, 
class skill or something. But apparently they added an auto regen feature. I guess that makes somewhat sense. I mean, it, well, I'll leave it in it. That actually was in the original game. It was just a lot slower because it was per turn and not just automatically. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, the um, loading screens are a little bit of a problem. I usually cut these down, but I guess if I want to give a proper uh, demonstration of the gameplay, I should leave those in. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Alright, how much ammo do I got? 20, 100, okay, good. Alright. Now, oh shit. <laughs> Bad timing. Okay, bad timing to start talking. Okay. Um, if I have these long bouts where I'm kind of quiet, it's just because I'm really focused on the game. This is why I like recording audio after the playthrough, because then I can compose my thoughts more eloquently and in more useful manner than just whatever randomly goes through my mind. Um, but we're going to just simplify it for this one, just because I want to get this done and have the footage ready for when I rework this video. In record time. Um, I am thinking since I just picked up the Kerberos uh, pack, I might include the. Oh shit! <laughs> no, no, no! Go away, slime one. Sorry, protoid, whatever you call it, protein. Um, I am thinking since I did pick up the all the store of the star games in the recent sale, I'm thinking I might add ground pounders to it. I haven't played it too much to make up my mind on it yet, but hey. It could be a fun, you know, um, Sword of the Stars spin-off video, kind of like how I originally intended it. Um, I'm not so sure I'm going to do the original playthrough, or original two games yet. I'm, de I'm debating that. It's just, uh, our, our 4Xs are kind of something where I got to really sink my teeth into and I got to be really invested. Thankfully, I do at least appreciate the lore Next. in these games. So, <laughs> moonwalking, moonwalking, uh... Rodents, as always. Um, so I'm debating that, but that's just something I'm thinking in the back of my head for a while. Uh, let's see. Oh! Trying to think. Um, is there anything useful to add to this part? Oh, yeah. If you want a better map, you can just hit M and it will just give you a better view of it. Let's see. Oh, and I guess I should explain, I'm not increasing my uh, skills yet because in I want to save this for an emergency healing in this early stage. I try to do it just once per floor, that way I don't multi-level, because you don't want to you don't want to risk uh, in the early game dual leveling, where you go over your first level and use the second one. Just like I did right there. Okay, so I should be doing that right now. Okay. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, let's see. Interesting. So I only get one point bird level. Okay. Well, at least I get a ton of points. I'm not going to use them all here because I actually haven't spent that much. But I can at least invest the ones I have right now and save the rest for later. Okay. I have the knife. Um, I don't think I want to put it in engineering right now. Okay, so I'm going to save the rest. Okay. So, just a nice thing to keep in mind when you do this stuff. It's, at least on easy mode, it's not that demanding, but on later modes, and especially the serious difficulty, you want to preserve as uh, much skill points in this manner as possible. Alright, let me just make sure the audio recording is working. All right, good. We're fine. I'm always paranoid if I don't, if I accidentally forget to hit the button or it stop recording for whatever reason. You're dead. Okay, I'm gonna use my fist for a little bit. All right, so we're good on this floor. We can go to the next one. I 
I find it interesting that they added the shotgun to all classes because now, <laughs> now everyone's gonna be using that gun and scavenging for that as much as possible. Come back here. Gotcha. All right. Um, it looks like it's clear. Got you. I guess if, it's a if it looks a little janky on your end if you haven't watched the other videos, um, the best way I kind of explain how the hitboxes work is like, uh, I'm pretty sure the way they're coded is like they're they're kind of like generous hitboxes, and it's kind of like Morrowind where you have both FPS um, what's it, attributes that determine your yes. accuracy and your uh, hit chance or something and the rest of it is RNG based. So yes, it does kind of help to aim towards the head, but I don't think it's required for actually uh, landing critical blows or anything like that. So just kind of something to keep in mind when you use your guns because some people will use, oh. speak of the devil. As I was saying, some people will use the guns like they'll use a rocket launcher or something, <laughs> not naming names, um, and they'll wonder why exactly they can't land anything or they do absolutely no damage. It's because it's all stat based, so if you don't have the proper skills for it, well, chances are you shouldn't be using it at all. All in the wrist. Okay, that's gonna help. All right, I want to save as much of this shotgun ammo as possible. At least until I get a better weapon. But shotgun's pretty good overall. I guess that's why they added it. Oh, I hear something. You know, I do have to wonder if the uh, zooming thing actually does anything. Because it seems to, like, move the uh, cursor around when you aim. Especially if you get hit, it seems to knock your shots off so it's always kind of weird i know they i know uh, i think it was a uh, what was his name i can't think of his name right now but he's like a community manager for the game and he said something along the lines of crouching does influence the uh aiming of the game macron i think his name is uh but i don't know i, I feel like you, you should, it should be somewhere stated or like if i crouch it say like uh 25% shot buff or something like that. I don't know. Something simple like that. That way I know it's worth it. Otherwise, I feel like an idiot crouching. Because while this is a first-person shooter, the, the gameplay is largely untouched from the original. Which is fine. It's just... How rude. Okay. Which is largely untouched from the original. So... Oh, you. You're fine. Ah! No. Bad. Definitely not what I wanted. Okay, how much... Okay, not too torn up. Alright. Definitely not what I wanted to start this run on. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, where are you? Okay. As I was saying before being rudely interrupted by everything. Okay, I didn't jink myself. Um, Mechron said something along the lines that it does influence the aiming in some way, although I just don't know how. All in the wrist. And that's something I think it should be a little more clear to the player if it's going to be a mechanic. I say that, but I should probably check the tutorial to see if they actually mention that. So, I could be wrong. Again, this is why I don't do live commentary. I don't like retracting statements or saying things. That just makes me look like a dumbass later. All in the wrist. Alright. Try this out for a little bit longer. 
and then level up. Okay, we'll come back to that room in a second. Alright, leave that alone for a second. You know, for a Unity 4 engine game, this actually looks pretty damn good. I mean, I know it's I know it's a newer engine and like, but I usually have performance issues with this. So, I'm just kind of amazed it's running this well, all things considered. Come on. Still fine. Come on. I'm gonna be using that health soon. Alright, good. Alright, let's get my gun out just in case I need it. Do not want to take degradation damage again. Okay, I hear them. Where are they? I'm going to level up right now since I'm safe. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of points. Let's start using them. Um, forging, yes. Pistol, yes. Knife, yes. Lockpick, yes. Mechanical, yes. Um, I don't know if I want to invest in engineering right now. I should be using the rifle at least once or twice so I can increase that. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save all these points for now. And again, I don't want to waste my ammo willy nilly. So it's kind of a balance between. Whoa, where did you all? Where did y'all come from? <laughs> what? What's that meme where? Uh, Someone opens a refrigerator and everyone comes knocking and asking, what are you doing? Okay, perfect. You know, it's funny. We were playing a co-op run of this game and we did not see any kitchens for like 15 or 16 floors. It was crazy. So, it's kind of funny that I'm starting on that now. Yeah, that's kind of the nature of RNG in these kind of games, so it's uh, largely dependent on what happens. But I think this strikes a nice balance for most people that it won't the, the RNG won't piss them off, but it will at least make the game a little more interesting than if it wasn't there. Then again, because the twentieth floor is always the set um, is always the same structure. That is at least something that is consistent, so it's not completely RNG, because then the last level will be kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, if you notice, I'm a little bit more uh, carefree with my colorful language. It's not because I'm like trying to be. RNG. Oh, oh god! Oh, nope, 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 nope. nope. Let's use a shot. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so apparently either that was um, YouTube trying to demonetize me or something. <laughs> As if I'm monetized. What do I care? Okay. Um, oh, not a good start. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I got absolutely distracted by a second and had to do that. Okay, um, I'm hoping this is my correct save. Yeah. Okay. Let's not have a giant thing. Yeah. A terrible trap idea, but hey, that's what happens. Yes. Ooh, that really gonna. That's really gonna bite. <laughs> this early on. Okay. Um, let's make sure this is recording. Okay. Apologies about that. I got absolutely distracted by someone. Okay. Um, we definitely need to get ammo in this room. Get this stuff going. 
Okay, frag grenades is nice, but I need ammo to make up for I lost that, like, half of my pistol ammo. All in the wrist. Okay. Please, ammo crate gods, give me something good. Okay, that's that, that makes up for what we had happen to us. Alright, I can accept that. Let's see. How do you change ammo again? G? Okay, G. Alright, just want to make sure I know that. Okay, so we're doing fine as far as inventory management goes. Boy, that's gonna... That's really gonna bite me for a while. Let's see, what was I saying before? Oh, right. So, you notice that in my videos I don't usually use explicatives or anything like that and it's not because I'm old-fashioned and I don't like using that kind of colorful language it's more so that I don't feel a need to do that unless it's like a genuine reaction so if I ever say a word like that it's not because I'm trying to be edgy or cool or trying to be hip with the kids or whatever nonsense you want to be it's just that I don't usually say those kind of words so when I do say them it's kind of more shocking because I do kind of I do kind of have this air of being distinguished or eloquent in my speech. But sometimes, you know, they can't just be communicated any other way. Okay, I'm about to give up on this. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself. Alright, I'm giving up on that. Alright, we're just going on the next floor. Okay. Just in case we have trouble. Because we are locked into this elevator. Alright. I'm going to wait for this to wear off. Oh, and although it has a burst fire, it's not a double barreled shot. It's actually like a multiple shot. So it's kind of... It's actually more useful Oops, to use it rather than just two shots all together. But I want to conserve ammo at this point. Okay. Fine, all things considered. Perfect. Okay, my knife's a little paint dinged right now. Alright, so damage cooker. Alright, should be able to fix this. Famous last words. Alright. Ooh. Man, all those uh, ingredients are starting to come back to me now. All right. I hear a robot somewhere. Nope. I see you. Okay. I hear a robot somewhere. be careful with the weapon spread because I've destroyed so many lockers already with this game. Alright. I'd rather take the damage than rather destroy something. Okay, perfect. Alright. As long as I have a 99% chance, I'm not going to bother it. Okay. Okay. What about this? What are my chances of opening this? Okay. Let me increase my level first. One in mechanical. Pistol, rifle, knife, traps, foraging, um, lock picking. I want to get this at least to 60 so I can kind of increase all these for free. Um, let's get my melee up anyway. Okay. You, do, you don't get as much points... Uh, on higher difficulties, so that's why it's kind of useful to make use of the make use of the easy mode to kind of learn your build and plan it out for the future. No, 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 no. Boy, there's a lot more of you than I remember. Okay, hundred three. Okay, 
now we're back to normal. Besides, you know, the degradation, but otherwise, that's fine. Okay. Alright, so... Thankfully, we have plenty of ingredients to make food now. So let's see. What's the most uh, resourceful thing? A, ba a soft switch is pretty useful. The bacon sausage is even better. But given the materials, it looks like it... Oh, it actually requires more. So yeah, I want to make sure I don't get something that breaks. Um, let's make an omelet. I won't screw that up. Okay. I got two of them? Okay. Alright. That should at least help me for a while. How much food did they give me? 90 each? Okay, that's about as much as my rations. Alright. Here, robot. Hey, you wanna play patty cake? Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. I forgot how this song goes, and I look like an old man. I hear something, I don't like it. Ah, there you are. Thought you could sneak up on me, huh? So let's clear this floor first. That way I don't have to worry about anything sneaking up on me. Like that. Okay, I'll come back here. Do not lift things off me. Although I don't know if they do that anymore. Okay. Well, since I know the worst trap already, I'm not too worried about the traps now. Four right now. Speed up. Okay, good. Alright, I like these odds. I don't know what I picked up, but that's why I just randomly pick up stuff. Duct tape, okay. Oh, and it does look like they appeared to fix the infamous bed glitch where you get stuck in there for a little bit. Wasn't game breaking or anything, but it was kind of annoying. But it looks like they fixed it. So, that's at least promising. <laughs> I want to kill these things first before I trip the trap. Okay, good. So, um, normally you don't want to trip these traps, but during the early game, it's actually useful to do this, so when you are later into your run, you don't have to worry about um, learning things afterwards. Another trophy. Okay, as long as we wait here, we should be able to pass fine. Alright, reloaded, reloaded, alright. Kind of surprised we got the item to trap destroyed uh, item trap item destroy trap so early. If I can speak today. Okay. I thought I already tripped one of you. Nope, we'll figure out what it is. Why well, I I forgot about that. Okay, purple is bad. Good to know. Thankfully, it wasn't something I was using. For now. Purple traps bad. Keep that in mind. Whoa, wh oh, when did I get this? Oh, now I'm upset that I got lost that, that rifle rounds. Darn it. Well. I got nothing witty to say. I'm just, just, I'm just flabbergasted and upset. Okay, I cleared this room out. Oh, 
hopefully we get some ballistic repair kits or something soon, or some... Poison level one. Okay, that's fine. I uh, don't want to risk that right now. Okay, well that's useful. System clear of poison. None of my traps have been actually, well, other than the speed up trap, none of them have been particularly useful thus far, which is uncommon. Okay, so that takes me back to the start. Um, I think we're good, because we used up all the things in the uh, kitchen. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so by floor, let's see. Floor what? Floor s let's say let's say floor eight. I'll put my armor back on. Glad I waited. Okay, there's another one of those slime things down there. Protein, whatever. Okay, this is a good time to use this gun. kits would be useful right about now because given my low electronics I'm not too keen on using those uh, repair stations even though they completely refix my stuff there you go got five chances. Okay, repair station. Alright. See if I can improve my odds somehow around here. If I can get an electronics kit, that would help. Engineering. Electronics. Okay. Well, I'm going to try repairing this anyway. Maybe get some decent luck. Nope. Wow, there's a lot of you around here. What gives? I think they increased the spawn rate or something. Probably should increase the, uh, what do you call it? Engineering skill? Or no, no it was electronic like skills, my bad. Yes. Let's clear this hallway. Okay, here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. There you go. <laughs> I'm just remembering this funny thing that happened the other day. Okay, I don't feel like testing traps right now. Just not in the mood to test them right now. Okay, perfect. Alright, some ammo. Definitely always good to see. Is that a mimic? No, okay. 
saw the radar dot and I was like, huh, is that a mimic? Okay, I'm gonna increase my stuff before I try these, but I'll take this. All right, good. All right, so I got computer skill I need to upgrade and other things, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna afford it. Okay, electronics, I'm gonna afford it. Let's see. Gonna get all these one points. Okay, much better. All right, one more brains, and then I think we'll be good on that. I am interested when they have the uh, psi power expansion, if they ever have that. Because I never actually played around too much with them, because I always felt like if you weren't the uh, psionic class, it was a little bit of like a a uh, skill pool that you could just kind of dump too much into. Ooh, what did I get? Not you. Go away. All right. You're just hoping I get it. What I get? Oh, I got the um, soldier's armor. I think it's kind of cool that if you equip it, yeah. it. Wait a minute. Wait, did I just? Oh, I thought that was like a second animation. Okay, I hit the mouse, second mouse button, or middle mouse button. I think it's kind of cool that they uh, have. Oh, I got a viral blade. All right, that's nice. Although, isn't it a blade, not a knife? Oh, it is a knife. Cool. All right, good to know. Um, I think it's kind of cool that if you get like different outfits from other classes, they actually color code it. As I discovered with the uh, medic. So I was like, oh, that's cool. It actually is color coded. That way, it still represents your class. I really love this shotgun. It is a nice addition. Okay. So I'm going to make my way back to that room with the repair thing and hopefully I will be proficient enough to increase my odds of getting better. Oh. That's fancy speak for luck please help. <laughs> Not bad. All right. Um, let's see. The room was the one with the engineering symbol on it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Right next to the tell or exit. What? Where is it? It's behind there. Oh, there you are. Where did you come from? Not good odds. One in three. Nope. Okay. Well, how bad is it? Okay, not bad. It's still half of good. The color should be a little bit more. Um, what could I say? Um, more useful, I guess. I still would prefer. Hold on. Okay, I would prefer if it just had a number there, but if the color system is going to be there, it should be a little bit more gradations between it. Because right now it looks like it's really bad, but I'm halfway there, which doesn't quite represent the color there. Ow. Not a good spot to do that. Okay. I'm going to regret this, but this isn't a really bad spot to be dealing with this. All right. Alright, I hear a bunch of bad robots that need to be talking to, like this. Always negotiate with a shotgun. And no, that's not the southern in me talking. <laughs> it's just common sense. You will have a much better time listening when you have the barrel of an end pointed at him. <laughs> Uh. 
I do like to be a little bit of a shit st shit starter here, here and there. Okay, I like these odds. I like all these odds. Okay. Attention. When supply bots are broken, it's relatively easy to blank, blank, blank. An aggressive antibiotic from odds and ends around the lab. Okay. Well, not too much of the message, but at least I know what the message is about. Probably to make antibodies. Although I thought I already had that recipe. Feeling keen on testing traps right now. Although I think I've got all the worst ones out of the way. What could be worse than item destroy? Um... Oh, health restore. Okay, I finally found the useful ones. So red's good. Hear him? Where is he? Where is it? Oh, I'm gonna get the ammo anyway. I think I got some shotgun ammo. I'm a genius. Oh, my log's not working right now. Should be showing me what I'm picking up. Okay, pretty good odds. Dang it. All right, so 61, 205. Okay, that's good. 67, all right. So I need to find a ballistic kit or something to repair my pistol when it gets bad. All right, that's a lot of ammo. Yes! not what I want. God, this shotgun is just so lovely. This almost puts the Doom shotgun to shame. Take at least the skill check so I can improve that a bit, even if I fail. Oh, I got lucky. Alright, let's see. Come back here. Okay, well, I found the exit, so at least we have our runaway place. How do you fail opening a, a box? That's just a new level of failure. Okay, I'm gonna improve that just to make sure I don't have that happen again. All right, let's see. Increase, 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 increase. Like I said, I have so many points that I can't even like spend them all in one level. So, benefits of beating the scout at the, this early in the game. 
All right, so now all these skills increase because I increase my brains by five. Um, five points in here will improve all these ones, but I'm pretty good with all these skills, so I'm not worried about that. Might, eh, I could take it or leave it. It's mostly useful if I want to avoid taking too much poison damage. Really? Poison level one. You know, I think this game is a very good demonstration that just because you have a phobia of something doesn't mean it makes it scary. Because I hate spiders. Not as much as I hate robots right now. Of poison. And now, you're dead. Like, I hate spiders more so than anything else. But because of the way they're animated, which I'm not saying please don't change it, because that would be the opposite of what I want. Because they don't leap in my fate, or they don't leap in my face, or they don't jump upwards, or do any kind of thing where they're lunging at my head, I don't find them as terrifying as I could be. Now, it's not an invitation to please do that. I like this game. Please don't change it to make it more scary. <laughs> I'm thinking of the worst case scenario like the Legends of Grimrock. Those animations frighten me. Even if the animations are like, or low, models are low poly or anything like that. Okay, that's a sign of being a little bit low. Okay, I'm halfway there. But as I was saying, um, it's, it's kind of a case that animations play a larger part than just graphical fidelity. Although, well, I mean, yeah, they are kind of cartoony, so that does kind of play into it a little bit. But if they were higher quality animations, I'd probably be more terrified about this game because there's so many enemies that absolutely terrify me. Then again, running down a corridor and seeing a giant uh, bear come after you come after you is pretty terrifying enough. Start using the viral blade a little bit so I don't preserve my knife. Come back here. Level one. So long as we don't go beyond level three, we should be fine. Because my might. So one of the things that uh, might does it checks against uh, disease. Back here. System clear of disease. Okay. So we're almost halfway through the run. I'm thinking I will either do these, let's say, ten floors per episode, depending on how long it takes. The first 10 floors are pretty easy. Oh god, oh god. That loud. Another trophy. Oh, did the explosion kill him? That's useful. Huh, I didn't know the environment it worked that way. Okay. I kind of feel like Mr. Fantastic abusing this. It seems like their hitboxes, they have to go forward to attack you, whereas your own hitboxes are a little bit more generous, so I can punch far outside of their own range while they have to close the gap. It's not always perfect, but it seems to work. See? You know, since they're reinventing the whole game here, I'm surprised they haven't added something like traits or the Fallout equivalent of, uh, what do you call it? Let's make a saw switch. Not a good idea. Okay. Well, at least I got one. Those are pretty 
sustaining for a while. Okay, I don't want to take radiation damage. Warning, weapon needs repair. Okay. Let's not trip the alarm. Infinity food. Okay. How much does that give me? Where is it? Oh, there are ways to like highlight stuff. Which one's food? There it is. Rotten cheese, food pellet. I can eat those. A hundred. Okay. Wow. That's actually pretty generous. Okay. Um, what was I going on about it before? I'm trying to remember. Let's talk about animations for a bit. Just talking about exploit. Oh, right. I remember now. Um, I'm kind of surprised, especially since it's kind of all first person now, that they haven't implemented a trait system, kind of like Fallout or Wasteland. Nope. Come here, you. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, good time to learn under desperation. I was worried that was a mimic for a second when I first registered that. What if they fixed a bug where uh, the mimics would sometimes get stuck in their own environment? <laughs> that was kind of funny. It was a bit of irony there. Let's see. Warning. Weapon needs yes, repair. yes, I know. I'm aware. Let's uh, put some of these things on here so I can just access them. Alright. Always handy to have these things on standby. Um, I'll wait until I get to something more useful with that. Okay. We'll try to reach at least another floor or two and then I'll put my armor back on. I'll probably put the soldier one on since that one has... Um, more durable or is it more protection 50 40 okay so then I'll put my armor on that way I can uh, preserve my other one that's better okay that's not a good sound Come back here. Warning. Okay, so as far as ammo, I'm doing at least pretty good on pistol, but my pistol's pretty d bang dinged up. Okay, not really what I wanted at this this part, but I guess we're almost done, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Alright. Let's just go to the next floor. Here's Scout. No. So many unknown traps. Oh, you're not good. There's my burst fire. Okay, that's terrifying. Something that's not useful. Warning. Health okay. is at 50%. Glad I have that right next to a level. Okay, so 
let's okay, let's increase my stuff. Ooh, a ballistic repair kit, just what I needed. Nope, I want to open my inventory. Okay, um, let's move this stuff around so I can make room for it. All right. First, let's get my health back. Oh, it's right here. That's useful. The luck giveth and the luck taketh away as it please. Okay, so that's a 50% chance. That's a 70% chance almost when I increase. All right, so let's, um, is that electronics? No, it's computer. That's electronics. Okay, so let's start with the computer first after I level up. I'm going to put two in electronics anyway, just to get it up. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Um, let's get that up for a bit. All right. I hear something. I'm going to run because I don't know what it is. I hear any slushy swashing, swishy swashing. I'm kind of assuming it's a blob. Yep, I was right. I'm trying to open the inventory. Okay. All right, my pistol's halfway there, so I don't want to use the ballistic kit yet. All right, so let's. All right, 90% chance is pretty good. I like these odds. And I like these odds. All right, what did I get this time? Under the current rationing system, blank 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 are no longer able to provide metal kit from off-world sources. Use the following formula instead. No. Well. 52% chance, I'll wait. 70% chance, I like those odds. Ooh, a polymer. Okay, I will take that. I'm just going to start disabling these things. Oh, I didn't recharge. I'm glad I failed that. Ball in the wrist. Okay, let's eat these food pellets so I can get this ammo. Not much, but at least I can have storage space for it. Here's something coming at me. Subject attacked a visiting service and smashed it to recover a blank scraps of metal using slithery sinews of an ice bat. He was able to create blank improvised blade weapon and cause problems. I can't remember what that is off the top of my head. Warning. Weapon needs repair. Okay. We're going to take our odds. Over half a percent chance I can fix this. All right, we're operational. Now, I got two charges. I'm definitely gonna increase, fix this. And I'm definitely gonna increase that. I'm 
Nope, I just increased my stuff. You are not going to destroy it. Not today. Okay, well this completely changes everything. You know, it's moments like this, and I'm pretty sure I will regret saying this later, that I do enjoy this game when it gives me this amount of luck and leeway with my experience. Okay, so we got plenty of ammo here, for all things considered. Okay, all our equipment's pretty good. Alright, so the next floor I'll probably put my armor back on. We haven't spawned the tougher enemies yet, but then again, this is on easy mode, so that actually might wait until a little bit. I could probably put it up to normal if I really wanted to, but I want to make sure I get plenty of footage. <laughs> I've only beaten this game once, I'm not going to press my luck. Actually. <laughs> oh, I love this shotgun. Except when the shotgun uh, damages everything around me and I have to run away. Okay, reserve that for a little bit. Ah. this one out. Okay. Pretty useful so far. Alright, so there's the exit. So if I want to end it here and stop the episode, this would probably be a good place to stop, but I'm going to finish this floor first. I don't think there's anything around here. Nope, there is. You know what? I'm not going to try the traps anymore. I wonder how that will be misconstrued on the internet. Next. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, perfect. Oh. Not so perfect. Okay, keep going. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, you're not nice. Thankfully, all those skills I invested into the uh, shotgun carry over to the rifle here. Since they're in the same category class. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I thought there was a lot more over there. Never mind. Okay. Come on. I have a level up, so I can use that. Okay, um... Yeah, why not? I get the free skill point anyway. See? Still got one in electronics, so it was worth it, even if we fail. Um. Oh, I thought 
thought I heard something. Okay. I got a bunch of organic material. I should probably make stuff. I keep forgetting I have this ability. Alright, let's make saw switches. No worries. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of saw switches. I think they made I think they definitely made it a lot easier to not starve, but I guess that's to balance out the need for co-op. I imagine in co-op play it would be really annoying if you had to manage multiple stomachs like in the original game. Okay, can I get this free one even if I fail it? We get the medic class, we'll definitely make the use of this. Alright. Let's increase my stuff before I end the episode here. Okay. Um, let's see. Huh, wonder why that one's green. Curious. Um, increase, 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 increase. Definitely increase. Okay. Yes, yes. Foraging, yes. Okay, I'll save the rest for later. Okay, so now that we got that, let's put our armor on. Just so I don't forget about it the next episode. And let's eat one of those sausages or omelets I made. Perfect. So this is where we'll pick up for next time. I may trim some of these sections down to be a little bit more easier for time management because I don't like to patch shit out. I respect your time as much as mine. So anyways, this is where we'll end off for the next time. I guess I should say something witty or something, so fuck it. <laughs>